Hello, welcome to Luna Midnight Designs. This is a very special video today. I will be making this doll for the 1000k sub giveaway! Yay! But before we get into that, I need to make the doll first. So to start, picking the doll base. And I did let you guys decide which between these lovely ghouls I will be working with. I asked on my community tab on my YouTube channel and in my story on Instagram. And well, YouTube loved Kitty and on Instagram, you guys loved Mouse Sadie's King more. So let's combine the two. So I will be using for this doll, Kitty's body and Mouse Sadie's head. So let's begin. To start, I have to match the head to the body skin tone. So I mix purple and pink together to get it as close as I can to the skin tone of the body, and then I paint the head with thin layers of the color. After I have enough layers, I paint the head with matte varnish just to seal everything and to protect the paint so it doesn't chip off. So for her hair, I'll be using this light pink nylon and this soft blonde. Now, the story behind this blonde hair. I've had a bunch already in my stock, but my cute, lovable ferrets got a hold of some of the hair and ruined the blonde that I had. So I had to order more, which is why this video is later than I wanted. So sorry. So the plan is, for the reroute, I painted the color of the pattern for the hair, so it's a strip of pink, a strip of blonde, strip of pink, and then blonde. And then the middle part will just be a mix of the two colors. So my goal is to have it full, but thin enough for pigtails. But nylon hair gets thick really fast. But I was still able to get a similar style to what I wanted in the end. But tragedy struck again. While finishing the reroute, the head split open along the part, and I was panicking to fix it. Thankfully, I was able to fix it without losing any hair out of the head. Whew! I made five staples out of thick wire and placed it in the head to hold the two sides together. The head was perfect! I used the hairstyle to hide the staples. Time to style. I take some of the hair to create little ponytails behind the ears and I curl the hair using straws, bobby pins, and boiling water. To make sure nothing unravels, I spray the hair with strong hairspray. And I add two bows to the hair and it's done. For the face up, like always, to begin, I seal away the hair with fabric and spray the head with Mr. Super Clear. I start with blushing the cheeks with pink, the eyeshadow with blue and purple, the under eye with yellow and pink on the lips. I do a few layers before I start painting slash drawing on the face. Due to the face having so many layers of the paint on it, the color pencil would slowly chip away at the paint and it wouldn't stick as well to the face so I had to go in with paints instead. I first go with the whites of her eyes and the teeth. I then paint the eye crease from blue to purple. I add freckles in blue, purple, and pink. Her liner is a light pink and I paint on her waterline. Her eyebrows are a mix of pink and cream to match her hair color. Her lips I paint with different shades of pink and I add her eyelashes with a darker pink. Her eyes will be a gradient of purple and her pupils will be a very dark purple. Now this face up is a little bit simple, but the rest of this doll is much more complicated and I didn't want the face to draw too much attention away from the face, the outfit, but still fit with the whole design of the doll. Once I'm happy with the one half of her face, I copy and paste to the other side. 
I later add some more sparkle details to her cheek and I gloss her eyes and lips. This is going to be fun. Time for the outfit. There are several parts to this outfit. The dress, the petticoat, the shawl, the bloomers, the tights, the shoes, and a little extra piece. The inspiration for this outfit is the cute design from the game Love Nikki Dress Up. I will be doing my best to recreate it. These are all the fabrics I will be using for this outfit, mainly soft cotton. For the main dress, I will be using delightful sundress pattern. So I cut out all the pieces I will be needing. The skirt, the bodice, the petticoat layer one, two, three, four. To add the blue and purple color to the skirt edge, I use eyeshadow and once done I iron the color making sure it like sticks kind of sealing in the color with the iron. For the trim, I take my white soft strips and connect them, sewing them all together and sewing it in half. And I poof it onto the dress. For the bodice piece, I sew the front piece to the sides and cut a rectangle piece, pleat it and add it to the bodice piece. I then attach the bodice piece to the skirt. I sew up the back up to the skirt, just a little over halfway, and then hem the rest. I add a bit of the fluffy fabric to the top of the bodice, off camera. I then add one snap to the back, and the base of the dress is done. I left a hole in the back to add a tail, maybe. The petticoat will be four layers, one from a kid's dress, the second a pink silk, and the third and fourth from this rose gold tulle. For the petticoat's first layer, I cut this from a kid's dress, I gather it on the top, and cut it to be the length of the dress skirt. I also add a snap to the back. The second layer, I just sew it onto the waist of the first, and I do that with the third and fourth layer as well. For an extra piece, I make a Lolita coat from Moonlight Jewels pa book pattern. I will use this soft blue cotton for the coat. I cut out the pieces and attach the sleeves to the bodice. I then add beads to the arms of the sleeves. I then add the collar to the bodice and sew the sides and the sleeves closed. I then gather the top of the skirt piece and attach it to the body piece. And I do the same for the lining minus the sleeves and the collar. Before adding the lining to the dress, I sew beads to the skirt piece as well. I then add the lining to the coat and done! The socks I cut out of a stretchy blue fabric and sew them closed and put them on the doll. For the shawl, I cut out a tube shape from the soft fluffy fabric stuff and stuff it with soft stuffing and then I add a snap to at the end. For the bloomers, I went with this purple cotton and it is the pattern from Moonlight Jewels book again. I cut the pieces out, sew them along the curved seam only part way, I then sew the tops and the bottom so that there's little tubes for the elastic to go in. I add the elastic and close up the bloomers. I add two little purple bows at the end. I made some arm covers from two tubes of fabric and make a pink gradient similar to the main dress. Time for the final touches. I add blue bows to the skirt. I then make ice droppings from this resin charm. I first make a mold and then I mix two part epoxy to make more pieces. I then paint them with soft 
cream nail polish and seal them with UV top coat nail polish. To make the sprinkles, I roll a bunch of epoxy into long, thin lines. I then cut them and paint them and poof, blue, pink, and purple sprinkles. Off camera, I added even more sparkles to the dress and some icing hearts and stars too. She is supposed to be a cupcake. For the shoes, I took these Frankie heels and with some fluffy poofy magic, I make them into a sugary treat. And here is the final doll. The name she has on the game is Sparkling Cupcake. I love how she turned out, she's so cute! Even with the mishap of the hair, I am so happy with how she turned out. Her outfit is so amazing and my favorite part of the whole look. I did also make her a custom sugary treat stand. I really hope whoever wins her will love and care for her and treasure her. And don't worry, I will be doing this again in the future. I honestly never thought I would get as much support as I have been getting on YouTube. I just started this to share my passion and I was happy. I am extremely grateful to everyone who watches, likes, and leaves a comment on my videos. It all means the world to me. I know this doll is only going to one of you, but I just want to say thank you to all of you. Now for the giveaway rules. One, you must be subscribed. Second, you leave a comment, like a name suggestion, maybe something else if you want. Three, leave a like. Now, I will say this, this is my first time doing this on YouTube and it is very, very new to me. So the contest will end in one week on the 19th of August and the winner will be picked. I will try and message them or contact them to let them know that they've won. And if I don't get a response from them, I'll pick a new person and so, so forth and you get the gist. And I will either make an announcement in my next video or on the community tab letting you all know about who won. But I will figure it out, so please have patience with me if I mess things up. But one of you will be receiving this doll no matter what. So thank you and good luck to you and me. Thank you all for joining me today and creating this doll was a lot of fun. Follow me on Instagram to see more and to be more part of my process as subscribe to catch future videos. Thank you for all your love and support. Have a creative day. See you soon. Bye!